So we're here at Lake Hope State Furnace. Now, this thing has been decommissioned since 1874. They used to use this to smelt iron, iron ore back in the day. When the Industrial Revolution became uh, to be, this became obsolete. And we're gonna go explore some history. So, legend has it that the ghost of a watchman is still walking these grounds to this day. So this is made of uh, sandstone. These, uh, these iron fences, furnaces are. As you can see, uh, recently, Sandstone has been falling from this furnace. So this, these entire structures are deemed unsafe to climb on. But yeah, could you imagine, dude, the guy burned alive in this tower. Yeah, that's crazy. You sure was that one and not this over here? Who knows what a furnace it was? I think I said tower before, but this is actually a furnace. Okay. Let's get historic. Site 9. During the mid-1800s, Ohio was one of the nation's leading iron producers and Hope Furnace processed elements extracting from the region's sandstone bedrock. Hundreds of men gathered wood to feed the charcoal fires needed to fuel the furnace. Eventually, iron ore deposits were discovered further west, and Ohio's reputation as the major iron producer faded. The Hope Furnace shut down in 1874, but the chimney and some of the foundation remain and remind visitors of one's booming industry. Let me think of that square in the sandstone. Yeah, that one, that one cut right there? That's yeah. so weird. Right there. What? Yeah. Yeah, here, hang on. Okay. So this is the historical marker. If you're if you desecrate one of these, I'm pretty sure this is punishable by law. I'm not desecrating. I, I know, I know. I know, but I'm telling factual okay. information. Okay. So let's read this. One of the 69 charcoal iron furnaces in the famous Hanging Rock Iron region, extending more than 100 miles from Logan, Ohio, to Mount Savage, Kentucky. This area contained all materials necessary to produce high-grade iron. The industry flourished for over 50 years in the mid 19th century during which the time the area was one of the leading iron producing centers of the world. The charcoal iron industry was responsible for the rapid development of southern Ohio and the romance of the Hanging Rock Iron region forms and brilliant chapter in the industry history of the Buckeye State. 1-82 Or is that 1 of 82? That could be 1 of 82. And this was in action from 1854 to 1874. The purpose of the Lake Hope furnace that you see in the video was to process iron ore. The furnace operated on a 24-hour daily basis to continuously run and process. The furnace would process about 15 tons of cast iron a day. In order to keep this furnace running 24 hours, the county hired watchmen to patrol the furnace through the day and through the night. Most of them would carry lanterns into the night to make sure that the engine house was running as well as people falling into the furnace. That being said, 
there is a legend of the furnace. Various versions are told throughout the years. One version is a night in particular, it was radiant, stormy, and the watchman, while walking along the platform with his lantern, slipped in the darkness and fell into the bubbling or inside the furnace. Another version has the man being frightened by a bolt of lightning causing him to fall in said melting iron ore. His ghost can be seen patrolling the furnace late at night. Dare to come into the park at night and see the watchman for yourself. Okay, so here's the Lake Hope Trail map. There's the history of Lake Hope. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to read all that. Um, all right. Is there any pictures of what this used to look like, like back when it was operational or anything? Uh, no, I think that's just Haydenville. That's way, that was still way back sometime. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, there's no pictures of it active. Okay, because the thing I'm curious about, Chris. Huh? You see the metal hoop right there? Yeah. There's one up above it, and there's one almost at the top, and on that other side, same thing. Yeah. Around this side, you got two, and there's one over there. So I'm thinking there was another type of building or something. It had to have been. Like where you see that pen comes through there, and this one here don't have the pen. All right. Well, that concludes this video. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe to the Punkcraft channel. Please hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Bye!